My name is Carol Andrews, I'm the Senior Charge Nurse in the Renal Unit at Monklands Hospital in NHS Lanarkshire. So the change we've made in the unit is um, the reductions of staph aureus bacteremia is used in improvement methodology. So the change was prompted when um, one of my colleagues who is an SPSP fellow came to the unit and provided us with data around our infection rates um, and he offered to assist us um, using improvement methodology. So we met with him on a weekly basis. We done case note reviews of over the last few months of SABs and then realised that we had two issues. We had issues with our temporary lines in the ward area and our permanent lines in our renal dialysis outpatient area. We introduced um, a different technique around the cleaning the lines. We um, started a training programme with nurses within the unit and we monitored the compliance of this on a weekly basis and this got us to approximately 80% compliance with our process. Patients come to us three times a week for dialysis, so it's a big part of their lives. The patients were asked by us to assist us in the cleaning and drying techniques, so they now monitor the nurses cleaning the line for 60 seconds and then drying the line um, for a minimum of 30 seconds, and they will prompt the nurse as the, as the time passes. It's had a huge effect on patients as they feel that they've got an ownership over their care and that they are now working with us and directing their care. This is now embedded in practice within the unit and new patients and new nurseries starting as part of their induction. Prior to this improvement work, we had an infection every 3.4 days. We can now boast no infection related to SABs in a temporary line in over two years and none in a permanent line in over a year. We've had other dialysis units contacting us to find out how we're using the techniques and what our improvements have been and also the nurses within the unit are now using the methodology around other areas where we've got issues including transplant, vascular access and falls. The patient's confidence in staff has increased, therefore the staff's confidence in themselves has increased.